Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to look at the calculation of area of part of a circle. And in this case, you'll be looking at the area of the major segment in a given circle. So we are told, given that the minor arc of a circle subtends an angle of 140 degrees at the center of the circle of radius 3.5 centimeters, calculate the area of the major segment correct to four significant figures. So remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with your friends. Let me try to sketch this kind of a circle. An arc is a portion of the circumference in the circle. Therefore, if the circumference of a circle is divided into two portions such that it has not been divided at the center, so that one of the portions is greater than the other. Then the greater one is called the major arc, while the smaller one than a half, the circumference of a circle, is called the minor arc. So if we say, for example, from A to B, from A to B, this one is part of the circumference which is smaller than half the circumference, and so we call it the minor arc in the circumference. Then the other one is called the major arc. Now, this minor arc is subtending an angle of 140 degrees at the center. Something we should understand is that when we join two points in the arc, such that from A to B, we draw a straight line. Then from A to B, the straight line is called a chord. So we have called AB, and we are now told that the arc A through B is subtending an angle of 140 at the center of the circle. So what we have here is a center of the circle and we got 140 degrees subtended here. So if this is 140 degrees, then now this one now is called the minor segment. Then now from AB upwards, we call it the major segment. Therefore, major segment is usually constituted by a major sector, which is having this angle, and a triangle. If this point is called O, then triangle A, A O B. So both the triangle and the major sector will be forming what we call the major segment. Therefore, major segment, the area will be equal to triangle and a segment. Triangle plus sector. The major sector for this case. Therefore, the triangle's area, because we are given the radius as 3.5, then we can use a half multiplied by one side, multiplied by the other side. Then sine of the angle in between, which is 140. So we should master that. Even if we are using an angle of 140 degrees for the triangle, then for the sector, it will be 360 minus 140. So that we say we are using 220 so for the major sector, we have an angle of 220. So we use 220 divided by 360 pi r squared. And we can use a pi of 22 out of 7. Then 3.5 squared. So we can now use a calculator to get the area of this major segment. Whereby we will have half multiplied by 3.5 multiplied by 3.5, then the sine of 140. This is going to be area of 3.937, then plus. On the sector side, we have 220 multiplied by 22 multiplied by 3.5 squared. Then we divide all this with 360 and 7. So this is going to give us 
0.53. So when we add up the area of the triangle and that of the sector, then we will get 3.937 and this will be 27.46. According to the instructions, we are told to give the area in four significant figures. So this will be the area to the accuracy of four significant figures.